Hi everybody, it's Dara, and today I'm going to make a green juice, and I will talk about the benefits of what's going in the green juice, and why I am juicing. So, I'm also going to cut the tulip. I'm going to open up the tulips, because that would be nice. Okay, here's the thing. Yesterday I posted a video about how I naturally went into a detox mode. I decluttered my studio and then I, that night I got into a detox mode and I didn't want to eat. What that means is that my digestion didn't feel well, I got headaches, I had a fever, I had chills. Um, what that means is sometimes our body wants to detoxify something that has come up. Um, and it doesn't eliminate, it doesn't eliminate as fast as it, it, it needs to, so therefore we get all these symptoms. And the way we can help that is by taking a hot bath, is by drinking a lot of water, getting colonics. Um, now it was late at night, so that wasn't possible, so I needed to, I took baths, I lied down, I drank tea, I drank water, and I knew that it would pass. And I also knew that perhaps it was time to just aid my body in cleansing by not eating the next day and just drinking liquids and letting, and a little bit of fiber over the next couple of days. I did have a blended soup and I did have a couple of pieces of fruit, so it's not like I only juiced. But juicing does give our digestive system a rest. I'm not saying that I intended to do it for any certain uh, amount of days, but intuitively, I said, like, like a dog does, I felt like it was time to just not eat as much. And that is a natural, intuitive thing. So for those of you, what I want to talk about is a lot of people have said to me, well, not a lot, but just a couple have said, how is it that you would need to detoxify? And that's the same question, how is it that you would need to declutter? You're always decluttering and you're always detoxifying. You're always on, you're on the cleanest diet of anyone that I know. And while that is true, there is a lifetime of other subst substances that have entered my body. Uh, I had fillings. It could be from drinking days. It could be from eating pizza. It could be from any number of things that I have ingested wittingly and unwittingly that would perhaps... Um, need to exit my body and the cleaner you get it just means that you get to go to your next level of greatness so it's good news and as human beings we are never done I mean that is not why we're here we're here to learn lessons and get to our next level of enlightenment and, cl and cleansing is the best way to uh, not only have energy look beautiful prevent disease, but it also is a way to get to your next spiritual level because the cleaner we get, the cleaner we get to source. You know, whatever you consider that source to be, whatever you consider divinity, it's our way of being, I guess, having less layers, less cloggage, less, um, less things, less obstacles in between us and the divine. So, since I have, um, I keep cleaning, I keep getting more and more tuned in. And by being more tuned in, I mean, for example, yesterday, or it was two days ago, Jada, my daughter, said we were both in the living room together and she was reading and she just looked up and she said, Mommy, guess what page I'm on? Just guess. And I said, 167, just like that. Just came to me, didn't think about it. And she looked up at me and she said, Mom, I just turned the page to 168. And therein lies what, one of the reasons why I cleanse. So cleansing is such a vague word, like love is a vague word, detoxifying is a vague word. Really all it means is that we're peeling back the layers to get to our truest selves. We are cleaning up the cells and our skin and our auras so that we can hear messages, the messages that come from our own inner guidance and the messages that come from without. And how can we do that if we're clocked? And not only, here's another thing, is not only do we detoxify maybe off-gassing or pollution or metal fillings or um, this is for, um, cilantro is good for detoxifying heavy metals. What if we ate a lot of animal protein and our livers are clogged? What if we've had oil that's been cooked throughout the years in our lifetime and our, our lymphatic system and our liver is clogged and our kidneys, um, what if we get to the next level of cleansing and there's just emotional things that need to 
be released. And emotions, believe it or not, do get stored in our muscles, in our tissues, in our limbs, it, our, our, everywhere in our body it could get stored. So um, when it's time to let go of emotional things that we're holding on to that no longer serve us, that can appear as a detox symptom. Okay, so it might cause us to lie down. Our bodies are so smart. It might cause us to lie down and cry, in which case we're releasing something. It, the symptoms may come up and it may have flashes. It may feel like flashes of anger. And then we examine, well, what am I angry about? And if we are wise, we're going to go to somebody or read something or sit down with ourselves and take a look at what those things are that are causing, that are flaring up, what, what's triggering us to feel this. And then when we can look at it, we get to let go. That's the um, awareness of, of ourselves is, is really the answer. Awareness of, then we can witness our own behavior and say, ah, oh, that's just me feeling this again. And our, the period of time that we are angry gets to be less and less. The anger is good because it helps us navigate and it helps us be aware of what's going on that isn't serving us, either something we're holding on to or something that is triggering us from outside. And it's a navigational tool. So all of our emotions are extremely helpful and it's also good to identify and let go. We don't have to be in a state of processing forever. We get to go, oh, okay, and then do a do-over if there is some kind of like tension going on with another person then we can we can say okay do we want to my friend Renee hi Renee who is womaning more with Dara check out that site um, it's amazing she posted on my Facebook wall the other day last night um, something that helped me and it was um, something relating to fear is contraction and love is expansion and we are loving beings and there's nothing better than feeling loving and expansive and when we're in fear or hate or anger or jealousy or any of those feelings or feeling less than or feeling just contracted we feel contracted we feel closed in and we've got to protect ourselves but when we are in love when we are being love when we are that then everything is expansive. And if we can just, along with eating this kind of food and drinking this kind of food, whether you choose it with fiber or without, today is without fiber, if we can say, it's very easy to eat pizza, yeah? It's very easy. Last night, oh my gosh, my friend Jim, I was walking into Whole Foods and he was coming towards me, literally holding a piece of pizza that he had just bought and taken a bite out of and literally walking to me towards my mouth. And he's like, it's vegan. And I'm like, it was literally right here and I could have just taken a bite and kept going. So we're faced with these things. We're also faced with the opportunity to have loving thoughts. So where we can easily go towards, oh, that person is blah, 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 or they treated me this way and they are, you know, not this and not that. And, or we can choose, how can I look at this and see in what way is this reflecting who I am and why I called this in? In what way can I see that we are all one and we're all spiritual beings and we are all connected? And if I can choose love and then choose loving thoughts about that person, I get to expand. If I choose the other way, then I get to contract a little more. So in the effort of expansion and being love, choose our thoughts about other people the same way we choose our organic produce with love, okay? So that was, that's really what's going on. So I'm going to make this juice in a second, but I wanna say that I had a thought this morning we want to get greens in. We want to eat a lot of fruit. And for me, I want to eat a lot of fruit and I want to eat a lot of greens to get my nutrients and minerals and all the goodness, the chlorophyll and the protein from my leafy greens. And if I am not wanting to eat a lot of overt fat, maybe keep it to a tablespoon a day while I'm feeling like doing this cleansing movement, then it's funny. I thought, well, yes, juice makes sense because I want to get all of these greens in. And if I decided to blend them, yes, I would get a lot of fiber, but I would definitely, I think, need to add a fat 
an overt fat to this, whether it's hemp seeds or olive oil or hemp oil or avocado, something fatty to be able to make it palatable. When you make a juice, you don't need to add any fats and it's way palatable. This is going to be gorgeous tasting. So that's just a matter of what's up, you know, what you're up to. If you don't mind adding a little fat, if you're in that mode, then blending these things will be beautiful and will give you the fiber. And fiber is wonderful to pull out toxins. And fiber, eating this goes a long way. So if there's a budget situation, I think that blending your greens just goes a lot farther. So today, right now, I want to make a juice. That's what I'm up to. But you could also blend and don't worry so much about the word detoxing. You know, it's not so much like, oh, I'm detoxing, oh, I'm cleansing. We're always cleansing. It's about aiding our bodies and listening to our own bodies, what we need to do. And that's what I have to say. That's part of what I have to say. So I have, um, this is kind of backwards for me because I just ran out of room with the cord, I think. Let's see if I can turn it around. That would be better. Feels better. Okay, so okay, so what I have here is I have dandelions, and dandelions are so good. It looks like we're a little bit out of focus. I don't know. It's going to have to be good enough. Let's see. I think we're okay. Okay, so dandelions are really good for helping our bodies detoxify our liver. And our livers get congested. We can get fatty liver, and we need our livers to be clean, and we want to have white eyes. So, you sing or you cleanse, your eyes start to get whiter and whiter. That happens just going on a raw food diet, um, from a cooked food diet. From, you know, just because you're vegetarian doesn't mean that you're healthy. That's what we need to know because we could be eating pastas and lots of rice and lots of white food and not having enough of this. So, more power to us for eating our greens. Here we go. Dandelion. Okay, I think I'll tell you what's in it and then I'll juice. That would make more sense. Okay, so dandelion is going in. I'm putting in green apples. The pectin from apples actually loosens uh, the inside, the lining of the colon. And it helps, like if you're ever doing a liver flush, um, pectin, the apple is recommended and it helps just loosen and dislodge. So. I wonder if this is going to fit. I'm going to have to cut that. These are large apples. I have cucumber, silica. This is hydrating. It's silica, which is great for the skin. I've got a massive piece of ginger. I won't use the whole thing. Anti-inflammatory. Going to get rid of any bugs or, you know, things like that. Ginger's antibacterial. And I have a little baby pepper. And the capsaicin helps metabolism. So if you're looking to lose weight, Capsaicin in the red hot peppers will help move things along. This also will bust out any germs. So we love that. And it gives you extra energy. Um, if you're angry and you're already in the fiery and a little out of balance that way, don't do the pepper so much. Uh, we're going to get vitamin C. We don't, our bodies do not produce our own vitamin C, so we have to add this daily. I have, here's some more dandelion, and I have a massive bunch of kale. This would be very hard to just chew on. So a raw foodist, as far as kale goes, can do a number of things with it. Kale can be juiced. It can be blended. It can be de-ribbed, taken off of the stem, massaged with a little bit of oil, put it with cranberries and pine nuts. It's delicious. And... You can also make my cheesy kale chips. I have a new recipe for you guys that's no cashews, so I'm going to do that soon. So I'm going to go ahead and juice and check in after. Have you ever heard that bubbles cost gas? I don't know that the froth on the top of the juice does, but it looks extremely frothy. And just in case that is true, I'm not 
entirely sure. I'm going to strain it. And I want to say that I used, okay, so the recipe is a bunch of kale, a cucumber, two lemons, three green apples. The strainer's a little bit too fine. So what I'm going to do is get a, a thicker strainer. Um, ginger, a chunk of ginger about that big. And I used one little baby uh, habanero pepper, the dandelion bunch. That's it. Celery would be nice too. Um, well, I'm going to taste it right now so I don't have to go looking for the... It's so refreshing. It's like Insta happy. So for any of you think that this is torture or depressing or detoxing is depressing or raw food is anything other than lively and green and happy and colorful and vibrant and health promoting and beauty promoting and joy promoting, this is the way to go. Certainly for a period of time, see how you feel Go back to what you were eating before, see how you feel, and definitely judge for yourself because everybody, everybody's different, but there is absolutely nothing wrong with adding an enormous amount of green leafy vegetables, a lot of fruits, green juices, and definitely get your greens on. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to show you the bigger strainer. This came with another juicer, the Samson juicer. I'm using the Breville Fountain Elite today. I know people always ask me, what kind of juicer, what juicer do you like? And I remember David Wolf once said, any juicer that you use is the best juicer. I like the Breville Fountain Elite. It's powerful. If I have to do a lot of stuff, it's the best choice. If I'm doing finer things, obviously like wheatgrass, parsley, cilantro, I will want to use my Samson Double Alger Juice. It really presses the, everything so dry. So if you have the time to cut or you have a prep chef or somebody with you, who wants to cut, you want to make the most of your produce, then the double alger juicers um, are great. Oh, I'm going to have this, and this is going to be wonderful. And I don't think there's anything more refreshing than a green juice with apple and lemon and ginger. Seriously, I don't think there is. The beautiful chalice. Wow, I've been spoiled. I've been getting juices at Moon Juice around the corner and Main Squeeze on Main Street. And um, there's also something so nice about making your juice just as you like it at home. And it's just of the moment. So it's so live and so fresh. It's just so clean, clear, and bright, which is, I just want to say, because this is important. When I make my choices throughout the day, I really do think, how am I going to feel while I'm drinking it or eating it after? In an hour and definitely the next morning. So when um, you wonder about making the choice between this or this, definitely think, remember that it's like a game and you can keep feeling better and better and look better and better and have more and more energy. And so why take something, if you have the choice for the optimal, you know, beautiful food, if you have the choice available to you or you make it available to you, why choose anything that's going to numb you down, dumb you down, slow you down? So that's the thing. That's, that's the thing to think about. How are you going to feel? And uh, that's it. That's my little tip for the day. Get your greens on.